So back to our top story now, the crisis in Spain. Joining me is Andrew Dowling, Senior Lecturer in Catalan and Spanish History at Cardiff University. Andrew, good to have you with us. So uh, to some extent, uh, Article 155, this is uncharted territory, isn't it? It's, it's not happened before. Does invoking that article give more fuel to those in Catalonia seeking independence? Yes, in one sense, but there have been, I think, two very other important things that have happened in the past 10 days that will make people who supported independence are, are, are rather uncertain about it. Firstly, over 600 companies in Catalonia have announced that they're moving their headquarters out of Catalonia to other parts of Spain. So that has been a real shock to many people. And the second thing is, and your report dealt with it earlier as well, that there is no international support evident for the possible proclamation of Catalan independence. So again, that is a major negative in the in the kind of like the negative side of things. So the Spanish police action on the first of October a, gives a push towards in, sure. Uh, I was just going to ask. From a, you mentioned the date there, uh, and they're, they're starting this process, which will take a little bit of time um, to to come into force. But what does it practically mean for Catalonia if it comes back under central control? Well, essentially, the decisions that, you know, Catalonia has in terms of its own self-government, that it, you know, in certain areas, its competencies will be ruled directly from Madrid. And so Catalan civil servants, Catalan employees of, of, the, of the regional government, etc., will, will be given direct instructions from Madrid to follow. That, that's what it will mean in practical terms. Is it reversible? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it, the, the, the mechanism of 155 can be used and it can be withdrawn as well. And I think what's certainly um, being spoken about is that when 155 is applied, which could be as soon as this weekend in, in part, and then confirmed by the Spanish Senate by towards the end of October, that the push then will be for the organisation of new elections in Catalonia, which will be run by the government in Madrid. So the Madrid government will the final say, if you want, over the calling of new elections for the Catalan Regional Parliament. And then 155 would be suspended or withdrawn and we would enter a new phase.